My art's very much based on nature. I've always been into nature, walking with my dad on long walks, and, and he always drew attention to tiny details and things. My dad was a theatre designer, and in his day, he made models, maquettes of the theatre sets. He worked from home, and I'd spend hours in his studio watching him and looking at what he was doing. He'd make tiny trees and chairs and tables, and I found that very fascinating. I studied back in the 90s fine art at Central St. Martins. It was a fantastic time. I felt that everything was about concept and I was always far more into craft and technique. I just adore tricking the eye with, with a pencil or a paint technique. I kind of started looking at insects years and years ago. I've always had books on nature and people have given me old Victorian prints of insect diagrams and things like that over the years. The detail in the markings that insects have, it's just quite phenomenal and that totally intrigues me. I'd start looking at colour and texture and the combinations. The whole idea behind my work is mixing the grotesque with the beautiful and that people are drawn to the beauty of butterflies, for instance, and then horrified by spiders. I've got a lot of craft techniques behind me that I'm now using in my art. Especially now I've been doing some slightly three-dimensional insects and bugs and beetles with clay and then making a mould and then creating them into a plaster cast and gold leafing them. A lot of my inspiration is just from my immediate surroundings and I'm very, very lucky to live in a fantastic part of London where we've got Highgate Woods and I've also got a dog and so I spend at least an hour or more a day walking my dog. It's a beautiful place and I've obviously been walking there for many years. I have lived in this area in Muswell Hill for a very long time. I often pick things up, bring it home and do some really detailed studies of them. I find quite interesting with, with my work sometimes that people look at it and of course they're called hybrids and I suppose before people actually see the title, people look at them they actually think it exists. I love that they don't get that at first. It actually takes a while to look at my pieces that there are many bits in it that you just don't see at first. I try and challenge myself each time I do a piece where I find a more intricate pattern on a bug or something. And obviously each time I start something that's with a new reference of a new insect or something that I've not drawn before. So the challenge is to see how I can recreate that on paper and bring it to life. Mm -hmm.